install Android remotely. After listening this, if you think that we are going to hack or get into someone's Android phone, then sorry because we are not going to do anything like that. But we will use this amazing tool to control Android phone remotely with Tamak. So the tool we are going to use is Screen Copy. This tool allows to control your Android device remotely and it is available on all platforms whether it is Windows, Mac or Linux and even for Android and that's what we will be doing in this video. But before that, if you are new here, consider subscribing. So to use this tool on Android, you need to have Termux installed. You can get it from GitHub. Once you have installed it, just open it and first we need to update its repository. Now install Android tools and screen copy. Why to continue? Now to use this tool, you need to have Go installed. If you don't have, you can watch this video. Link will be in somewhere here. Now once you have Go installed, just start your VNC server and connect to it. Now open your terminal. First, we need to connect our device by ADB. Now, if you do ADB devices here, you can see we don't have any connected device here. So, to connect a device, go to your phone settings about click seven times on boot number. And once you see this message, you are a developer, just go back and click on system and go to developer options, scroll down, and this is what we need wireless debugging just enable it allow the permissions and make sure that you are doing this on your private network and note that this method only works on android 11 or greater now click on pair with pairing code then go to termux and execute adb pair and enter this ip address and port and enter now enter this pairing code here And next we need to connect to the device to execute adb connect at this ip address and the port now, once it is connected just execute screen copy and that's it now you can control the whole android device for me only so that's all for this video thanks for watching